in this quick tip, I'm going to show you folks how you can quickly change a lot of things when you're working with the appearances. So first out, let me give a shout out to this lovely model. I found this on GrabCAD. This is from O. Miller. So check this out if you're working on a project that uses a seven segment or a 14 segment display. It's a really nice model. And a lot of the times I'll bring it into Fusion 360. And uh, a lot of the times I'll want to change uh, the colors or the appearances just to kind of make a better visual representation of what I'm working on. So the main thing I wanted to show is I've got a lot of these pins and they all have uh, this, this appearance that I'm not really liking right now. I kind of want to make it more of like a metal appearance. So if I go here here under the bodies, you'll see that this is a whole body. And there's some things to look out for when you are working with a model and it's just a single body. So what I'll do is I'll bring up the appearance panel. Um, I made it the hotkey A on my keyboard. Um, and then over here you can see all the materials that are used in this design. And if I were to look up aluminum, I really like the, uh, the search box here. So I can just type in aluminum. And then you'll see all the aluminum flavors here. I really like the polished aluminum. But if I drag it over, it will say that, uh, hey, it's going to do the whole, uh, the whole body. So there's an option right up here where it says apply to. I can say faces. And now I can individually apply this to faces. So let's say I want to do one of these pins. And there's my appearance now. Now it's done there, but I need to do it to all of these pins. So I found a, a, a pretty good workflow on how to uh, apply um, a material to multiple faces. So let me show you. I'm going to close this window out. And I'm going to use the selection tool. So under the select dropdown, we'll go to selection filters. And I'll deselect select all. And I'll leave select through because I do want to select through the bodies. But I only want to check off body faces because that's what I want to select. So I'll go off of there. And then I'll kind of orient myself so that I can do a kind of a drag select. If you ever try dragging from the left to the right, you'll make a marquee window. But if you drag from the right to the left, you'll kind of make this different marquee window. And this just allows you to select multiple things. So with that selection, I literally have all the bodies, rather all the faces that I want to select. Now that they're all selected, I can bring up the appearance window and they are still select it. It's kind of hard to see, but visually they are highlighted with this kind of white. And that lets me know that I have all of these already selected. You can also look at the bottom here and it says 36 faces. So that means I have 36 faces that are selected. Very easily done, right? Now all I got to do is just drag the material that's uh, listed here under in this design, just drag it into any one of these and you'll see the whole set, the whole group, the whole selection highlights. So now when I drop that, all of that gets updated. And that's pretty much this week's uh, tutorial. It's just kind of a quick tip. Um, I didn't know you could actually do that. So I was excited to kind of record this and uh, share it with you folks. But if you're ever working with uh, you know materials and you have a lot of faces that you need to, to change now you know a good workflow on how to do it easily. Thank you folks for watching. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any of those. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, remember to make a great day. Bye, folks.